Hello everyone, welcome to Nubal Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create digital number animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, create a new solid and let's name this digital number and make it comp size and hit OK. Then select the rectangle tool here. Make sure you are selecting this layer and let's make a mask here. This rectangle mask. And then we are going to duplicate this one and double click on the second mask and hold Control Alt and make it square here. And let's move it right here and control D one more time and move it to the other side. Control D for the last masks and let's select it, move it here. And then we're going to delete this point to create a triangular here and then control D again and let's move it to the other side. Let's rename these to organize things. Okay, so now we're going to select all these masks and control D to duplicate them and then let's move them up holding shift Oh, maybe we're going to put it right there and going to duplicate them one more time again. Control D. And let's double click and hold shift and then rotate them like this. And let's put these here. So now we're just going to start deleting and adjusting these elements we create. So let's move this one right here. Make it shorter, just like that. And delete this one too. And let's move this and rotate it like this just right here and we're going to do the same here just these two control D and move them right here you can actually use the grid if you want to be precise here about the size and all the other things but we're going to get back there and now going to duplicate this rectangle here or this triangle double click on it and rotate it like this put it just there And we're going to duplicate these again and move it right here. Okay, so uh, let's move all of this here. And then rotate these just like that. And always duplicating the masks. Move this one here. 
and rotate this one. Let's duplicate this one. Control D and move it right here. So basically the idea is creating the number like eight here. So now I'm going to duplicate these. Let's duplicate these mask and move it right here. So maybe this one going to move it like this. So now we have the number eight. So let's select all these masks and just double click and we can transform it to look even better than how it was. So let's make it just like this. And so we can make the spacing even better than how it looks. Maybe here there's some uh, spacing not look good and all the good things you can make it. So this is not uh, what I'm going to do. I will leave it for you. So now we have uh, all the pieces here. So what I'm going to do is get here. Let's see which one is this. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to maybe a second frame and create a keyframe on mask opacity and put that to zero, move one frame and just create a random opacity here. It doesn't have to be the same as mine, just uh, we're going to give that random opacity here. So let's preview and see how this looks like. Okay, it looks fine. So what I'm going to do now is copy these keyframes and on these digital number layer selected, hit TT twice, hit T twice, and it's going to reveal all the masks opacity here. So what I'm going to do is just select all of it and then control V to paste. And so it's pasted here. So what I'm going to do is randomly move and stagger these uh, keyframes so they're not starting at the same time. So as you see in this preview, the animation look pretty cool and uh, we can make it a little bit better than this, but you get the idea. Let's see, we have now the number eight and you want another number, for example, seven, how we can do that without recreating the whole thing. So the idea here is just zero out the opacity of some uh, element there. So how I'm going to do that, for example, the seven is going to be same this side here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is select this one, this mask, so it's selected for me here. So I'm going to double click here on the last keyframe and put zero there and do the same thing for the other uh, masks here. Just select it and double click on that and zero out its opacity. So select this mask, have zero here, and select this one, put zero right there. The same for this one. So
So as you see in this preview, the number seven look very cool and we make it very quickly from the number eight and we can do the same thing for uh, the other numbers. So this was the tutorial of today. Hope it was very useful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to answer them. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support me and stay tuned for more tutorials coming soon. Thank you for watching.